Welcome back to Steve Small Engine Saloon. Yeah, another myth out there that I have to set straight. There are so many people out there that believe this, what I'm going to tell you. Today I'm going to prove to you that it is not true with the help of my little thermal imaging camera, a lawnmower, and two different kinds of gasoline. I had a boss years ago uh, when I worked at a small engine shop. He owned the shop. And he would tell customers this all the time. He would say, don't use high octane gas in your small engines. It'll make your engines run way too hot and you will destroy the engine. Only use the cheap gas. So I pulled him aside one day and I said, I said, listen, I did some research on this and um, all automotive gasoline burns at about 120,000 BTUs. BTU stands for British Thermal Units. It doesn't matter what octane level it is, all your automotive gasoline at the pump burns the same BTU, about 120. Um, there's different uh, energy websites you can get to. They kind of fluctuate back and forth, but right around 120. And he said, okay, yeah, that's interesting. I swear it wasn't even a day later when I heard him in the front telling another customer the same thing again. I was like, oh my God, why? The only thing I could think of was uh, he just straight up didn't believe me. Or, gee, do you think there's another reason a shop owner might tell people not to use good gas in their equipment? <laughs> Comment section. So today we're going to run my lawnmower on 87 octane and then we're going to switch it to 90, uh, 87 and 93 octane. By the way, 87 is the lowest I can get and 93 is the highest I can get where I live. Before I show you the thermal imaging uh, that I did on that to prove this, I do have to take, bear with me, I have to take care of a couple things here that are very important. I changed some settings on uh, this thermal imaging camera to make it uh, look a little bit better for you. I took some of the crosshairs off of there. The only one that you're gonna see on there is a little red crosshair that floats around. You don't actually have to point this thing. The red crosshair goes straight to the hottest part of what is in the field of view of this. I also changed it to Fahrenheit because I know that most people watching this video are from the United States of America. Some of you are already jumping on the bandwagon here saying, yeah, but Steve, what about ethanol? Yeah, what about ethanol? Gasoline, automotive gasoline burns at 120,000 BTU. Ethanol, 100% ethanol burns at something like 86,000. I got it written down. No, ethanol burns at 80,000 BTU. Pure alcohol ethanol burns cooler than regular gas. I thought it would have been the other way around. I was quite surprised to learn that. So here's the thing. If you got 10% ethanol in your gas, it's going to burn cooler than just straight gas, pure gas with no ethanol in it. Both of these have 10% ethanol in it. Oh, gee, Steve, how do you know that? Well, I'll show you right there. I got a little ethanol tester. Um, you can buy these. I, I'll put a link for you down in the uh, <clears throat> in the description and then pinned comment to get one of these. Um, I tested them both. Both are exactly 10% ethanol. Hey, I also did a video on doing the same thing with uh, with the, just using a beer bottle. So you don't actually have to buy one of these. You can do it with a beer bottle. Um, I'll put a link for you in the description for that video too if you want to see that. Also, I know that the green can, yes, it's it's two, it's for two-stroke oil. That's what the green signifies it right now. Uh, I haven't seen a green can for a long time. Again, you want to see that. I got a link for you for that in the description and the pin comment also. So now, because there's 10% ethanol in both of these, uh, it's these aren't going to burn at 120,000 BTU because they have 10% ethanol, which is cooler. So 10% ethanol gas burns at uh, about 115,000 BTU. So not that much cooler. The point is they're, go they're the same right now, both 115,000 BTU. So here we go. We're going to go run that lawnmower with 87 octane in it. I'm gonna, I warm it up for like 10 minutes. It's, the thing stops fluctuating um, at about five minutes. It, it's hot as it can get. I let it go for 10 minutes just to make sure it's as hot as possible. Okay, now keep your eyes on the red crosshair and in the top left corner you'll see what temperature it is it kind of moves up and down a bit you'll get the idea watch this so you can see it does fluctuate up and down a little bit there 
um, you can, it's hovering right around 340 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 171 degrees Celsius. Now I drained all the gas out of it. I let it run dry. Carburetor was empty. There wasn't any, any fuel in it at all. No 87 left in it. Filled it up with the 93, let it run for another 10 minutes, and then I checked it again. And uh, same thing, watch this. So you can see it's still fluctuating up and down a little bit there. It peaked a little bit more than 340, but still so close. What was it? Maybe on an average, it was 342 or 343, something like that. What's the difference? It, maybe it does burn a teeny bit hotter, but three degrees hotter in an engine, in a small engine, what? it's not going to destroy your engine now, is it? So there you go. For all intents and purposes, there really is no difference. I mean, you break that down to percentage-wise. What's three degrees hotter when it's already running at 340? It doesn't matter. Pretty cool thermal imaging camera, though, eh? Top Dawn TC005. Can't even remember where I got this from. It's fun to play with, though. I'll put a link for you down in the description for that thing, too, if you want to check it out and see how much it costs for you. I can't tell you how much it costs for you because I don't know where you live. I don't know what your currency is. I don't know what your shipping is. So click on those links in the description, in the pinned comment, and, uh, and uh, check all that stuff out for yourself. I hope I proved something to some of you out there. Hey, if you got any, if you're disputing this at all, hey, put your comments down. Till the next video, everybody. Cheers. Steve out.